Hello and welcome. In this section, we would be working with access control or DCL with CDS view. Why DCL or access control is required? What happens is we have a CDS view. Now anyone can see the data from a CDS view because it's our view. Now what if we require to only restrict data to certain users that okay certain users can see data of certain nature where the limit should be put on the data for example if you are having a sales order then only user can see sales order with status delivered or paid or if you are having some other data as well then based on the data value those are the data which user can see so how can we limit those capabilities and how can we use the existing feature of roles authorization object authorization field and bring it towards your CDS view because when we see in SAP world authorization and access are very important part because most of the roles which you perform in your business have a limited reach of how much a user can see the data or what should not be shown to them so access control plays a important role when we try to implement a CDS view in real life use case because most of the time the data you might be exposing should not be shown to all the users only limited users should be able to see the data who have the authorization or access or who should be having authorization or access to that data so let's catch up in this section where we go also in details about the roles creation authorization object maintenance authorization classes creation authorization field maintenance and how they all work together i am trying to give my best in this course and keep the things very simple and straightforward how you will be using them in your real life project so join me in this course and i hope to see you in this particular section to see access control in cds view my name is ajay naik and learn simple